Hello viewers, I welcome you all to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to watch how to recover Exchange Server mailboxes from an offline Exchange Server. Let us say a .edb to PSG recovery. Here, we are going to recover mailbox from an offline Exchange Server using a third-party tool called Dell Recovery Manager. In this demonstration, we will see how to download install and recovery or uh, using Dell recovery manager Dell recovery manager for exchange provides a free one month trial using this one month trial you can achieve a quick recovery of exchange mailboxes from an offline exchange server so sometime in a critical situation your requirement will fit inside the trial period in that case, you can utilize this tool to retrieve items from offline exchange server. I tried with many tools, but I never see a tool which give you a recovery option more than 25 items in their trial period. So this will fit in a small and a medium business users to recover their mailboxes from a EDB file or an offline exchange server. To download this software, visit qs.com download recovery manager for exchange server you will receive a trial key in your inbox from qs.com let us see how to download visit qs.com go to trials it names a recovery manager for exchange so it will come in the R Okay, we will see here recovery manager for exchange. Download trial. Fill up the form and you will be receiving an email from Qest and uh, with the trial key. Once you finish the download, the next step is to extract the downloaded file and run the setup wizard let us see how to install dell recovery manager extract uh, the downloaded zip folder So once you finish the extraction, run the setup wizard, click setup. The installation will take a bit long, uh, but uh, it doesn't require much input from you. Just accept. Okay, download the trial key which you received in your inbox and uh, point the trial key from here now. Click next. Continue the installation. This may take a minimum of uh, 5 to 10 minutes. Um, I'm just pausing all the steps because after that there is no input required. So here we finished with the installation now. Once you finish the installation, it will ask you to configure link. It is a very simple step. You just need to point two DLL files to recovery manager. In order to configure link, Either you go and copy this DLL files from installation folder or you will get it from the setup folder. 
in case of exchange server 2007 in addition to two there is another two files you need to locate so copy these files and keep it in your machine which you installed this recovery manager and point it from there let us see how to do this So here we need to point the link so in order to point the link you need two files let us see the files are available in the location setup folder okay we found one and uh, there is one more required So now uh, I got both the files. So I'm trying. I'm copying that to uh, the Exchange Server Recovery Manager installed machine, and I'm pointing that from uh, for the Exchange Recovery Manager. I'm pointing it now. You can see it's a green light. So it means the link uh, we did successfully. So next. Now open Recovery Manager here you will see add storage and restore so this is the two sections that you have to work out add storage is giving you to point your exchange server database dot edb file from your offline exchange server so here i point out the dot edb file okay now the add storage is completed the now let us move to restore so here you have the options messages my messages or ma mailboxes or like public folders i click mailboxes and i'm pointing the dot edb file which i just added now click next restore and their mailboxes I'm showing to restore it to as a separate PSD files. Fill up the details and also point out the location where you want to restore this. okay it's done i don't have too much items so it's quickly finished you can see the psd files of in the desktop all right thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed for more videos please visit niasitpro.com and subscribe my youtube channel 